Hello to everyone watching this video. Today we will be checking out this trash master which has bulletproof tires. Let's throw ourselves into it. To get this trash truck, you must of course be on the Blitzplay setup mission called Trash Truck, which is marked on the map as HS and can be found somewhere around the Mira Park. As always, if you attempt to get this vehicle with a mission replay, you will find yourself disappointed, as this wouldn't work. You can in fact completely avoid coming in Mirror Park and just grab a random trash master from traffic if you find one to start this very same mission. You should also make sure that this is not the last setup mission you have to pass before the heist or you will be unable to get this vehicle with bulletproof tires. I will quickly point out that bulletproof tires are the only things that make this trash master special, as it cannot be modded in the matcha. It does not have any special colors. Bulletproof tires are immune to bullets, fire and police stingers. Before I continue, I thought it would be nice to show a clip of the easiest method to complete this setup mission. For that, all you gotta do is wait until the trash master stops to pick up some garbage. Once the trash master has thrown the bag into trash master, you want to go ahead and knock him over. Just like that. Then take a 180 turn to the other side of this truck and if successful the driver will come out. If that happens it means we cannot get the wanted level anymore and just like that you can steal the trash master from trash masters and drive to your destination with no cops anywhere to be seen. Yet. Anyways once you are the pilot of one of those trash trucks deliver it to FIB lot but that is not I repeat is not yet the trash master we want to obtain. To get the truck which has bulletproof tires we must first leave the area after pass and then come back. You will then notice the very same trash master we came here for sitting in the FIB lot. However its doors will be locked to the player. So this means we need to use some alternative methods to get inside and drive to garage and this will depend on the platform you play on. If you have the very first version 1.0 on Xbox 360 and PS3 you can stand in front of this trash master, open up your phone camera and while it opens up press the enter vehicle button. Just as easily you will be placed in this vehicle and can drive to garage. In versions up to 1.27 included you can't use the phone camera but you can still block both doors using two random cars and then press enter vehicle while standing in front of it. Same as before, you will now be able to drive to garage. For the latest version though, none of the teleportation methods work and we need to use an alternative which I promise is rather fun. For this we need a random tow truck from traffic. Once we have this random tow truck, we want to tow the trash master to any police station. I personally like using the one where the vehicle impound is located. Once there, just leave the locked vehicle in front and go shoot some bullets directly into the sky. Cops will become pissed and if you stay inside a vehicle, they will pick the closest vehicle to come and drive after you. And cops in this game have the power to remove the locked effect of the doors of this trash master because as we all know, they are after all the trash masters. Just like that, your golden ticket inside this trash master is redeemed. All you need to do now is just steal your trash truck back. After you lose the cups you can place it into any garage that you want, although I must say that a vehicle as big as this one can only fit into your 4 car garage and it isn't very easy to put it there. But don't worry, I will spend the next few minutes explaining how it's done. The method to do this will again be version dependent. If you play the very first version 1.0 on Xbox 360 and PS3, storing big vehicles is rather easy. All you gotta do is just park your vehicle in front of the garage door, get out and get back inside. Don't press any buttons until the engine ignites and if it does, just press enter garage button since the option to do so will still be on the screen. Unfortunately this got patched and the enter garage option no longer stays on screen if you press the enter vehicle button. Sadly big vehicles cannot be stored into those garages in later versions all the way until garage entry animations got added. So if you have such version and you have no space to store your big vehicle in, just skip it. 
With the addition of garage entry animations though, Rockstar made storing trucks possible again, unintentionally of course, and that method is more complex than the old 1.0 method. For this trick you of course need your big vehicle, a small vehicle which can enter the garage and a taxi. Try to place your vehicles same way as shown here. The next part is complicated and requires precise timing. Press the button which activates the taxi side mission and immediately run into your small car before the dialogue ends. This trick might need being sort of familiar with what taxi dialogues sound like and turning on subtitles might help as well. Once in your small car, wait until the taxi dialogue is about to end and few microseconds before it does, press the enter garage button. If done correctly, you can exit the car after the dialogue ends, something you normally wouldn't be able to do. Right after you exit, try and run into your big vehicle as quickly as you can. If you fail, you can try this again, but I assure you, this is not an easy trick to pull off. And if you need further information, I have a video which is dedicated to that glitch specifically. This trick works with all three characters. However, it is a bit more tricky to do with Michael. By the end of this video, I would rate this vehicle easy to get. But do I suggest having it in your save file? Not at all. There are much better special vehicles out there than this slow piece of junk. Not only that, but there are also much better special trash masters available in this game. So for your own good, I would not waste any time on this one here. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, you can let me know about this by hitting a like button and of course by subscribing. Also make sure to hit the notification bell so you won't miss any of my videos in the future.